we worked hard over winter on our fitness, um, starting early this year. Um, training three times a week, mixture, football, circuits, um, working on um, our tactics, our position, our shape, um, really come together as a club, um, bringing in a mixture of new faces um, and experienced players and, and keeping us mature players on our toes. Um, but really coming together well this year and we're looking forward to the season starting. We've been training every Tuesday and Thursdays with a couple of friendlies, just getting us prep, prepared and prepped. Pre-season's been good, training every Sunday and Wednesday nights. Pre-season matches have been good. Um, we've won most, lost some and drew some, but it's been good. We've got a young squad and I'm excited for this season. Been good, um, plenty of pre-season games, a couple of teams above us um, give us a good run and yeah, just trying to find our feet and looking forward to the beginning of the season. Well, I've actually been away for a while, but the team's been working really hard, um, really trying to up our passing and possession game and we're going into a tougher division. We got promoted into Division 2, so we're just trying to step up to that level. Preparation's been good um, across both squads for the first and reserves at Ballymoney this season. Um, we've been training twice a week every week and we've had pre-season friendlies that are really competitive and helping the girls prepare. It's been good, we've been prepped well for this season, working hard, plenty of training, plenty of friendlies, so yeah, it's going good. Well, we're hoping to have a strong start, play the matches, play their best of our ability. So hopefully getting a promotion, but either way, just want to have a good strong season, play the best we can. Uh, yeah, we're all looking forward to it. Um, obviously, it's going to be a difficult year um, season-wise. Obviously, a lot, a lot of teams are coming in um, that have previously played, but we know it's a um, different higher standard now, so it's going to be tough and we're raring to go. Everybody's excited and just can't wait. Pre-season's been very tough, um, we've been working hard, fitness levels have definitely increased. We're looking forward to the change and like different teams and there's a lot of travel in our league but we're up for it. Last year was a hard season as we had quite a young team, um, it was a lot of learning but this year we're up for the challenge. We have beat clubs that are in higher division, which has been really good. We're just prepared to go in and win. Yeah, we're just trying to get everyone back in for training. Um, we we'll train on Mondays and Wednesdays, just because obviously with match days they'll probably be that. Um, we're starting to get the numbers back in and been getting our fitness back up, so hopefully it all pays off come next week. Preparation's been really good so far. Um, have had quite a few uh, games to date, really. Um, mix of wins, losses, draws. Um, but doing okay so far, building up the fitness is the key thing really for us all at the moment. We've been playing some friendlies for the pre-season, just training loads and just working hard with all the rest of the team, yeah. Definitely, everybody's been working hard in training and in pre-season, so I think everybody's buzzing to get back into the, the season, but because this championship it means more this season. This year there's 17 new teams. I've come to the fore, I think it's a very positive step. It indicates well, how interesting women's football is, women and girls' football. It's maybe the, the sort of payback from the, the women's Euros, the excitement that people have had from that. It's quite nice to sort of mix with the crowd beforehand, the various players. Um, I'd be more associated readily with the men's game, but in terms of the women's game, I'm kind of getting to know a few of the players and a few of the people have enjoyed the women's futsal. I'm enjoying women's FA games, I'm enjoying the higher level games as well. But I think it's great, it's a very professional event, very professionally done. And we put a lot of leagues in this country to shame. Yeah. 
Paul and I just love to go to matches and see young girls on the pitch. Um, yes, a great number of, of girls coming and obviously that's down to the Euros and, and what they've seen and all the youth coming through. We've a lot of teams with young youth now and they're coming up through and that's what it really takes. It takes teams to have youth teams so that they can filter in to the senior teams whenever they're ready. We're about promoting, fostering and developing the game of football in general. Participation is a big part of our targets going forward. The women's game is growing faster than any other part of the game. It's important, it was it's encouraged to hear Gail Redmond saying early on about you know, trying to help with bursaries and trying to help with uh, you know additional sort of coaching things for the clubs. I think it's important to develop, especially for those new teams who are finding their way and also recognising some of those new teams will have new administrators, new secretaries. It's hard to do that work. I was a secretary myself. I appreciate the, the hard work that goes into it. So the IFA is there to help wherever it can. IFA support is vital to us. So uh, we will have one coaching course, a level one, for every team that's in our league. So there'll be 60 teams will get a level one coaching course this year.